Chancer, George Alec Effinger, Grover Noel, Joe Manfredini, Bert Lee, Joe Loop, Lark, Susan Richards, Mary Screenus, Bernie Wrightson, Alan Weiss, and Stephen Savoy. Edward Barton. Ron Bowman. Jacqueline Colton. And Gerald Fabian. in The Orchid, a film by Samuel R. Delaney.
Yeah, I got up this morning at 5.30. What? No, I got up this morning at, yeah, 5.30. That's, huh? That's the time I got up every morning. Yeah, at 5.30 and I, you know the alarm clock, the little light on top of the alarm? It didn't go off on the clock radio. But I got up then anyway, huh? Yeah, and I put on, uh, after I put on my clothes, I have, you know, outside. Before I get into the subway, I stop first and have uh, coffee and a buttered roll. 
That's before anyone else gets on. I, uh... Then I take the subway down from Dykeman Street. That's before anyone else gets on up there. You know, first. It isn't too crowded. Uh, I used to live downtown, but I don't anymore. You know, because the rent's cheaper up where I live. When I get to work, there's this guy who runs the elevator in our building. And uh, we, uh, yeah, we've got this elevator man. And uh, I was the first person he ever said hello to, you know, who worked there. I'm really proud of that. Everybody used to say how he never said hello or anything to anybody. And I always, so I always spoke to him, right? They used to joke about how he never said hello or anything, even where he could hear, which I thought was awful. So I always spoke to him. And finally, he said hello very pleasantly, which everybody said that was really amazing, you know? I always speak to him as soon as I get to work. You know, they really care if you get there on time or come in every day. Which is funny because they don't care how much work you really do because I know guys I've seen there that haven't done a goddamn thing in goddamn six years. As long as you come in on time, that's all they care about. That's attitude. <laughs> because I start work so early, you see, I take my break at 9.45, you know, not at 10.30 like the girls in the front. I'd rather... Huh? No, I'd rather start later because I'm just getting started, you know, because you don't get started until 8.30 or 9 anyway, and then you've got to stop. You can goof off if you want to, I suppose. I used to take a bouillon cube to work and have that for lunch because there's a hot water thing upstairs for uh, coffee and stuff. I wouldn't have that on my break. I'd have that with lunch. I think it's got protein. And it was really nice with lunch, you know. Then after lunch, we all go back downstairs and get to work, which is really funny because you don't do that much anyway. And I mean, if you didn't want to. Um, in the afternoon, there, you know, you don't do too much anyway because I guess because you've been working all day and there just isn't that much to do. Except on Thursdays sometimes when, you, when they make late deliveries in time for the weekend. You don't do that much in the afternoon except on Thursdays. Then you go home. We all go down together usually. So I don't usually say anything to him then, the guy on the, on the elevator. Because, uh, you know, on the way down, because uh, all those other people are there and that would seem sort of funny, huh? When I go home in the summertime sometimes, I uh, walk up a few extra blocks because it's still light out to the next subway stop. But in the winter, it's black out as soon as you get outside, just black. And you don't get any sun at all, which a lot of people complain about, but it really isn't so bad because, you know, it's so cold out, especially around Christmas, that, that you'd just as soon be inside anyway, especially since it's the goddamn middle of the night. Hey, where are you going? Hey, come on back! Hey, come on back! Thank you.